Thank you for stopping by Blessing Barbecue. On this video, I'm going to be making the Quadzilla Burger. Let's get going. So before I get going with this recipe, a little favor to ask, a little call for action. Please check out a friend of mine's channel, Sub. His name is Michael. The channel is Everyday Barbecue. Newer channel, but the content is fantastic and it's only getting better. In fact, I was actually talking with a buddy of mine, one of, a fellow YouTuber, one of the larger barbecue channels, told him about the shout out and he agrees 100%. Michael's a natural and it's a channel that I'd wanna get in on early so we can watch, watch the growth and the improvement together because again, great guy, great channel. Let's get going with this recipe. The Quadzilla Burger, obviously named after Godzilla. So there's going to be some Japanese uh, ingredients in here and I'll be showing you the ingredients, but also telling you some substitutions you can make if you don't have access. Even though they're all available online, I got a lot of them on Amazon. Um, it's going to be four thin patties of beef, so they're gonna be almost crispy. There's going to be some cheese involved and some caramelized onions. I'm calling them togarashi onions. Basically what I did was I cut and quartered a sweet onion, sliced them in about one quarter inch thick slices, Got them on some heat with a little fat. I was using canola oil. It's a medium high heat, just kept them moving. Once they started to develop a little color, I added that togarashi seasoning. And here I'm gonna show you this because there's several types of the togarashi seasoning. Togarashi seasoning. Sashimi togarashi. And this has red chili, it has ginger, black sesame seed, yellow sesame seed, roasted orange peel, ginger, uh, it's just amazing stuff and Japanese white pepper as well. It's got a nice heat that hits you really fast. Then it kind of subsides a little bit, but you're also getting those kind of savory flavors and some of the sweet flavors. Good stuff. And I'm using Kewpie Mayo. This is Japanese mayo. Sorry to tell you guys, it's better than the stuff we have here. This is amazing mayo. I'm going to be using Japanese... Worcestershire sauce, for those of you in the UK, I'll say Worcester sauce. Good stuff. Obviously, just regular old Worcestershire sauce will work, Worcester sauce, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I wanted to keep with the Japanese theme. So, let's go ahead and make the burger sauce. I have here some of this Kewpie mayo. And it's probably about a quarter of a cup. And I'm just going to add a little of this Okanami sauce. And this is has some sweetness and kind of fruitiness, but it has a, a chipotle burn to it. There's actually chipotle in here. It hits you really fast, but then the heat goes away pretty quickly as well. And I'm not really measuring. I'm just going until it has the color and the flavor that I want. And that color looks pretty good. Give it a taste. Yeah, that's good, that's what I want. There's that kind of a savory from the mayo, a little bit of sweet, and then again, that chipotle heat, so that's good. So obviously, if you guys can't find this, this again, it's, it's that Okonomi sauce. I would just use some chipotle, paste you can buy it at any grocery store here in the United States and probably a little like a sweet barbecue sauce. Let's get this in the fridge. I'm going to go outside set up the grill everything else I can do at grill side. Meet you guys out in the patio. Cooking on the Weber kettle today I have the ballistic griddle in place. Basically I have a line of briquettes going two briquettes high two briquettes deep on the uh, inner perimeter of the kettle here. First thing I'm going to do is toast up the buns. This is going to be a very quick cook as far as the meat is concerned. There we go. I'm just looking for a light toast. This is fine. Start those patties. First thing I'm going to do is get one of the form rings that I use for making patties usually. I have some bacon here that I've crisped and chopped up into little pieces. And I'm more or less using this ring just to kind of keep these guys in a good shape there. Just a meatball, 80-20 ground beef, it's ground round, four ounces. 
We're using one of the ballistic smashers. This one's the thin version and it smashes these guys down to about an eighth of an inch. Hold it down for about 10 seconds. Really thin patties, they will shrink. And I may have to do a little shuffling around just to make sure to get all four on because of the size of the smasher more than the beef patties. Number two on. So only the one is going to have the bacon. Now I have that Japanese Worcester sauce, the Worcestershire sauce. This will be the salt element, but it's also going to add a lot of goodness to these patties. Cheese, I have provolone, American, cheddar jack. The onions are right here, just staying warm. There's enough radiant heat coming through, even though I don't have charcoal underneath to keep these onions nice and warm. All right, that's looking good. We're gonna stack these and the cheese will continue to melt. First thing I'm gonna do is grab the patty with that cheddar jack, lay that down. Provolone. American cheese. It's a gorgeous patty with the bacon on there. Take those caramelized onions. Japanese hamburger sauce I made. around that bad boy and there we are the quadzilla burger honestly I came prepared to cut this in half but I don't think it's going to work I think this thing will just implode if I do so I'm gonna pick this up holy crap look at that thing let's try this out I'll tell you what this is definitely not a burger you eat on a first date very happy with it though the first thing that came in was the onion, that, that nice caramelized onion flavor, but then there was that smoky chipotle burn kind of in the back of the throat. I get hit t right at the tip of my tongue with the sauce because it had, again, that kind of a savory sweetness and yet that nice sharp little bite. And, and the heat on both ends, it didn't really last that long. It, it hit you, then it kind of went away. Really cool. That crispy bacon, good cheesy as all get out. I mean, you saw, it's like eating a slice of pizza, the cheese stretching out there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Anyway, guys, again, check out my friend Mike's channel, Everyday Barbecue. I'll have a link down below. Have a link up here. Keep the requests coming in. See you on the next video. Cheers.